In lesson 17, we are talking more about variables that have subscripts. Things you've seen before, we've been doing problems already that um, have the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. And we know that AB is an A times B. That just means one quantity. That's just one variable. We just use two letters to describe it a little bit more clearly. Um, in a week or two, we'll do some of those distance problems where we have Tom's time and Betty's time and Tom's rate and Betty's rate. And so we'll have the double subscripts like you saw last year. Uh, the other topic, angle relationships. So you have a picture. And you're going to look at the picture. Hmm, are there any things that are equal to each other? Or are there any pieces of it I can put it together and know how much they're total it? So we've done all that before. Just some review here. So beginning with subscripted variables, I really just have two variables in this. One of the variables is in N. The other one is in O. I could have done this x plus y is 60. 5x plus 10y is 310. So you guys tell me, what are some choices for how we might solve this? Right. Okay, so one thing that I might do, I might take either the NN or the NO equals 60 minus the other. What else could I do? What else could I do, Anna? Rachel? And so if I wanted to do elimination, what might I do? Yeah. What might I multiply what by what? Uh, uh, multiply by negative 5. Okay. So one way I could do it, I could multiply the top by negative 5 and the NNs would cancel. Or I could multiply by negative 10 and the NOs would cancel. But for that matter, I suppose I could multiply this by one-fifth, so everything's divisible by five, or by negative a fifth, technically, and the NNs would cancel that way. So a bunch of choices, they're all correct, whichever way makes the most sense to you. I heard substitution first, so we're going to do the substitution way. If we let NO be 60 minus NN, that means I need to find the NO here. And I'm going to change it to what I just found in this formula so that I keep the 5 NN plus the 10 times NO is the same as 60 minus NN. And then that needs to be equal to 310. Race me. You guys go ahead and solve it. I don't want to hear the answer shoved out. Most people haven't started yet. If you, can, if you have a question about it, question about it. Not what is the answer. Not t not telling me the answer. Because we give everybody a chance to hurry through and do this and see what we come up with. Shout out, what is NN? 58. 58 is excellent. And so I got that if I combined my 5NN minus 10NN, I had minus 5NN. If I subtract the 600 on both sides, I get a negative 290. And then divide both sides by negative 5, and I come up with 58. Did I finish the problem? What do I still need to do, Daniel? I still need to find the other variable. So I'm going to come back up here. And I said that my NO was 60 minus NN. So NO is 60 minus my NN. So NO is 2. They are not XY, so I do not write them as an ordered pair. I simply circle what my answers are. Question for that. Okay, let's do another one of these. 
And I've actually got four variables in this thing. RW is one variable. RM is another variable. TW is another variable. TM is another variable. There are actually four things that I need to come up with numbers for. Except they're pretty nice to me to begin with. And they tell me what two of the numbers are. RW is really 70. And RM is really 50. So that means one of my equations is 50 TM plus 70 TW equals 380. Now I just have two variables, TM and TW. And I have another equation here that just has TM and TW on it. Marsha. And do substitution like the last time. Let's do this one with elimination, since we did the other one with substitution, just so we practice an example each way. So if I do elimination, what do you want to do to which equation? I could. I'm getting some awful big numbers if I start doing that. But yes, I certainly could multiply the bottom one by negative 50. Anything I could do real quickly and easily to the green one to make it a little bit simpler? Got to you. Multiply it by one tenth or divide everything by 10 on that one. So that that could be 5TM plus 7TW is 38. Get some smaller numbers. I kind of like smaller numbers better. And then maybe I take this one down here at the bottom. And what if I multiply it by, how about negative 5? That will give me minus 5TM minus 5TW is minus 25. And I'm not going to get real nice numbers on this one. 2TW is 13. So divide by 2, TW is 6 and a half. Okay, your algebra 2, you're not second grade. It's okay to have numbers that are fractions and decimals. We don't always get real nice numbers. Have not finished the problem because we still need TM. So come back here. And TM plus 6.5 is 5. So TM has to be negative 1.5. Can't write it as an ordered pair. It's not X and Y, so we just go to our answer. Anybody with questions on our subscripted variables? The same as what we've been doing. Okay. Do what? We can do substitution, and that's what I said a moment ago. We did the first one with substitution, so I chose to do this one with elimination, so we reviewed one example of each. But you could have done them both elimination or both substitution. All right, let's switch gears, and we want to look at the geometry problem. Whenever you have a geometry problem, you are looking for one of two things. Can you look at the picture and say, these two have to be the same as each other? Or can you say, if I put these two or three or 17 or however many together, do I know what they all have to add up to? And those are the only two things you're looking for when you have these geometry problems. Figure out what's the same as something else, figure out what you can put together and get a total, and then go back and figure out the reason on it. So can anybody look at that picture and see two things that have to be the same as each other? Okay. Okay, good. Does everybody see that this one and this one have to be equal to each other. So we write down, they have to be the same as each other. So I write one of them down. It must be the same as the other one. Then I ask myself, oh, do I remember the reason for that? And do you remember the reason everybody shouted out? 
Excellent. Vertical angles, so we write that down. So that gives me an equation with x and y. Now I need another equation. So are there two other things that are the same as each other? Or are there some things I can put together and figure out what they have to add up to when I go through all of those? So look at the picture. Anything else, first off, anything that's labeled that we know is the same as each other or that we can put together. Melissa? Yeah. Okay, so Melissa is suggesting that if we put all three of these together, that makes 180. What do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Does everybody see if we put those together, they line up and make this straight line right here? So we're going to write that down. We're going to write down if we take the 110 plus the 2x plus the 5y plus the 40 and put all of those together, we know we have to get 180. Okay, they aren't supplementary angles because there's more than two, but they do line up to make a straight angle on the outside. Now I have two equations with x and y, so now my job is to solve and figure out what x and y have to be. There were other things I could have put together. I could have put these three together to make 180, but I'd have more x's and y's. The one Melissa suggested had the numbers in there, which was kind of nice. Um, but we would have gotten the right answer had we done the others. I just wanted to point that out in case anybody else had been thinking along those lines. Can we clean up this second equation a little bit? Yeah? If I put the 100 and the 40 together, that's 140, right? So if I subtract the 140 from both sides, or no, 150, one, it was supposed to be it's supposed to be 110 right there. Thank you. 110 plus a typo. I knew something was seeming funny in there. 110 plus 40 is 150. So if I subtract the 150 from both sides, then I have 2x plus 5y is 30. So I just want to make sure everybody's with me on that. Kind of mistake we all make when we're doing the problems. I just copied it down wrong. Right here it said 110, but I wrote down 100. So that was what I needed to fix there. So thumbs up, everybody with me on the, up to this point. Got that fixed in your notes. So now I've got my 20x plus 5y is 110, and 2x plus 5y is 30. How do we want to solve those? Ethan, what are you thinking we ought to do? So what what computation do you want me to do next? Divide. By what by what? Divide uh, seven by thirty. I can't put the two x and five y together because they're not like terms. One's an x and one's a so y. Two divide by five is two Well, I've got my two equations here. My red one and this green one. And I want to put those together to solve that street sum. Okay, what do you think? Maybe you guys would like it better if I wrote them right under each other. 20x plus 5y is 110. There's my system that I need to solve. What do you think is going to be the easiest way to solve that system, Caleb? Elimination, and what, how would you do the elimination? Um, I'd get rid of the five y's, which means one of them needs to become negative, so I'll do a minus 2x and a minus 5y and a minus 30. Thumbs up, thumbs down, everybody good with that? So when we do that, the y's go away, and we have 18x is, oh my, these are not nice numbers, 80. Let's divide both sides by 18. Let's see, those are both even. So 40 over 9. And that was my x. Okay, I don't like it, but that's my answer. And then for my y, I can go back to my 2x plus 5y is 30. And put that x in. 
So I can multiply that by two. And then let's see, 30, that's going to be 279, since I know it's the fraction problem. And so if I have 80 ninths on the left, I need to subtract 80 ninths from both sides. So 5y is 190 over 9. And I need 1y. So I am going to multiply both sides by a fifth. And if I do that, I get 38 over 9, and that was my lot. Anybody with a question? All right, grab whiteboards. <laughs>